Undeniably, Elon Musk is one of the most renowned CEOs on this planet. Despite Musk's achievements and successes, he still faces insurmountable hurdles in regards to Twitter. Some are thrilled by their presence, while others are outright scared. For example, the politician, Elizabeth Warren, having a long-standing disagreement with Musk over the idea of a wealth tax and how Musk should pay billions in taxes has requested that Tesla's board answer certain inquiries relating to how company resources may have been abused and conflicts of interest caused by Musk's acquisition of Twitter. According to Senator Warren, Elon Musk owning Twitter is very unfair to car makers, and Elon Musk is being selfish in managing Twitter. But what's even worse, Elizabeth Warren claims that Elon Musk broke very important rules, and it's illegal what Elon is doing. And Elon Musk answered to these accusations by saying that Senator Elizabeth Warren's presence in the Senate has undoubtedly been a detriment to the United States. This is a very interesting situation, so let's explain it. Twitter users have been pondering whether an increase in fresh fact checks of famous personalities is part of Elon Musk's social media site's new business model, which has previously been chastised for attacking conservative accounts before becoming private. Many in the media were outraged at the prospect of Elon Musk seizing control of Twitter. Many people have noticed an increase in fact checks on politicians like Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren since it became public on October the 26th. Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter, according to Beverly Hallberg, president and founder of District Media Group, is off to a bumpy start, with neither the left nor the right totally happy with his administration. However, she believes that such discontent may be a triumph for the middle. Twitter is now experimenting with new features, such as charging for blue check marks and restarting Birdwatch, a crowdsourced fact-checking program. It gives users more control over how they want their Twitter experience to be, which is a positive thing for free market supporters, according to Holberg. Elon Musk stated on Twitter that having Senator Elizabeth Warren in the Senate has definitely harmed the United States. Musk remarked in a response to a tweet from Farhead Masbay, a former Tesla program manager who now works as a content creator, according to his LinkedIn page. Masbay reposted a post regarding Warren's letter to Tesla's chairman of the board, of which Musk is the majority shareholder, inquiring if shareholders have been financially harmed by Musk's time as CEO of Twitter. Elizabeth Warren is the last person I would ever want anywhere close to Tesla, Masbay posted. Warren wrote to Tesla's board chair, Robin Denho, expressing worry that Musk may have broken his legal responsibilities to Tesla since purchasing Twitter and that the board has neglected to safeguard the business by not controlling him. Every board of directors of a business with numerous shareholders, particularly those that are publicly listed, is tasked with ensuring that a majority shareholder, particularly one who is also the CEO, does not use the company as a personal playground, Warren stated in a letter. The politician, who has previously clashed with Musk over the concept of a wealth tax, has requested the board to address specific questions concerning the alleged abuse of Tesla resources and conflicts of interest caused by Musk's purchase of Twitter. Warren charged that Musk's new leadership of the social media website has raised concerns about possible securities and other law violations, such as whether Musk is diverting Tesla resources into Twitter, a potentially inappropriate diversion of resources that could impact Tesla's sales and earnings and cause program delays at Tesla. Warren referenced CNBC's claims that Twitter had recruited Tesla employees to assist him in his takeover of the platform, saying that such agreements might violate state and federal labor laws. Warren went on to say that it might breach Musk's legal duty of allegiance to Tesla. She also stated that the arrangements would violate legal obligations to make public any employment contracts with the executive officials, something Warren said Tesla has not done. The fact that Musk owns Twitter creates unavoidable conflicts of interest, according to Warren. She noted that because Twitter relies on ad revenue from automotive companies that compete with Tesla, Musk, as the owner of Twitter, may be tempted to increase revenue in its advertising relationships with those Tesla rivals. Musk, on the other hand, might opt to operate Twitter to benefit Tesla by altering the algorithms to boost praise of Tesla items, providing the firm free publicity, or making it harder for competitors to contact potential consumers on the network, according to Warren. Warren also stated that Musk's debt to acquire Twitter might lead to conflicts, such as enticing him to overpay for Twitter advertising to fill it with cash. She accused Twitter's board of failing to shield the company when its stock fell following Musk's purchase of Twitter, while other manufacturers outperformed Tesla. Though she admitted that not all the losses could be linked to the Twitter purchase, she stated that there appeared to be a clear correlation. People have complained for years that fact-checking organizations were being unfair. On September the 28th, New Buster's executive editor Tim Graham published research on Biden's first year in office. He discovered that Biden was fact-checked 40 times, while Biden detractors were fact-checked 230 times, a 6-to-1 imbalance. 
Community Notes, originally known as Birdwatch, is a project that adds reader-generated context to questionable claims. On November the 2nd, Townhall.com writer Mia Cattle reported on how things have changed since Musk took charge. The White House's November the 1st tweet that seniors are receiving the largest rise in their social security payments in 10 years, thanks to President Biden's leadership, is likely the most well-known illustration of Musk's impact on Twitter. That tweet was marked with a disclaimer, noting that seniors will get a sizable social security payment owing to the yearly cost of living adjustment, which is based on the rate of inflation. Furthermore, Warren stated on Twitter that President Biden had the legal right to eliminate student debt. Republican authorities must step aside so that Americans may receive this much-needed relief. Twitter flagged the remark, adding that readers offered context that they believed others would be interested in. According to one of the publications, experts debate whether the president may sanction mass debt relief by executive order. Another pointed out that the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals briefly halted the student debt forgiveness program in October in response to an emergency request. Twitter added a note to Cohen's tweet that according to the document, pages 2, 22, 23, 38, and 48 all have references to Martin Luther King and other African-American figures as part of the Virginia Basic History Curriculum. Graham stated in response to Cohen's fact check that Twitter's new practice of adding context to tweets appears to be a break from the many fact-checking sites, which frequently utilize elastic judgment. Twitter's comments on the Brian Taylor Cohen quotation are factual and devoid of opinion. Indeed, Birdwatch utilizes a fact-checking strategy that depends on a consensus from a diverse group of active Twitter users to determine which tweets require further context and precisely what that context is. This is unlike most other fact-checking services, which depend on professional journalists from major news organizations. Musk has stated that the new user-generated flagging systems community remarks component is fantastic. The objective is to make Twitter the most reliable source of information on the planet, irrespective of political affiliation. He provided more information regarding the objective of community notes a little more than a week later. He stated that while Twitter strives to elevate citizen journalism, the media elite would do everything possible to prevent this from occurring. Musk concluded that mainstream media would continue to survive, but that rising competition from citizens will force them to be more truthful when their information oligopoly is disturbed. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification.